I know it's been a while, but school is back in session. It's a new semester. And why did I say that? Because I'm a teacher, not a speaker. When it comes to the animal kingdom, a lot of times we like to compare ourselves to the king of the beast. We may think about the lion, but when it comes to the ocean, we may think about the king or the queen of the ocean as the shark. I want us to think about what some refer to as the chicken of the sea, but I want you to really know when it comes to tuna, the tuna is the real beast of the sea. The tuna is the real king or queen of the sea. I want us, as we start a new year or start a new position, a new opportunity, I want us to say tuna season. I know that's just a little bit different, but if we were to really look at a tuna and the way that it's designed, you'll realize it is a magnificent creature. You see, the way a tuna is designed, it has a very rigid head, and that head serves a purpose. It allows that tuna to swim extremely fast. A tuna, on average, could swim up to over 30 miles per hour. If I were to compare that to a shark, a shark swims about 12 miles per hour, but due to the rigid design of the tuna's head, um, oxygen is not pumped through its gills like it does with the average fish. You see, a tuna has to keep swimming to stay alive. It has to keep swimming to force that water through its gills and give it the oxygen that it needs. It has to swim or die. If a tuna stops swimming, it will almost immediately die. Tuna could live over 50 years. We're talking about five decades. They have to swim or die. You may be thinking, so what happens when it's, when it's, when it's nighttime? You see the tuna, it doesn't even have eyelids. Why does it need eyelids? It's all in the design. We each have our own unique design as well. You see, a tuna understands that being stationary, not moving, is not an option. For those of us that are ready to reach our goals, to rake in our harvest, we gotta realize that the pace may change. Our goals should always be written in pen and our strategies in pencil. We gotta be willing to identify the right direction, know where to go, what direction, but one thing that we need to be doing is constantly moving even if it's only an inch one day. Another day, it may be miles. It may be yards another day. However, just like that tuna, we gotta keep moving. And because that tuna keeps moving, it has a higher body temperature, which gives it a higher metabolic rate, which means as it eats, it also consumes the fuel that it takes in through its food significantly faster. And that also allows for a tuna to have a higher body temperature. What does that mean? That means when a tuna goes from tropical to even arctic water, it produces enough heat to maintain its body temperature so it's not even affected by the frigid water. As a matter of fact, a tuna puts up such a fight when it gets stuck on a fisherman's line, on an angler's line, that by the time it gets to the surface, it's used so much energy that its meat, its flesh, almost begins to cook. It has such a high consumption of energy. Why is that? Once again, because it keeps moving. It's tuna season, y'all. We think about the sharks as being the beast of the sea. I kid you not. It's really about that tuna. That tuna is the beast of the sea. It's the king or queen of the sea. It's the tuna that has that value. As a matter of fact, in 2019, Kayoshi Kimor, it was a Japanese restaurant. It was a specific tuna that they purchased at over $3 million. We're talking about value, not perception of value. It's tuna season, y'all. Forget the sharks. It's tuna season. As we move into different levers, new ventures, new opportunities, I want us to think it's tuna season. It's all in the way that we are designed. It's all in the way that we're wired. And it's all in the motion as we move towards our goals. Now remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. And I want you to have an amazing day.